Okay, so when will George R. R. Martin finish the last two books in the series? The seventh and final book I think will be due sometime between 2041 after he's been dead for eight years and they finally bring in a ghostwriter to finish what he can't. That's my answer for that one. Uh, I know that a lot of Game of Thrones fans don't want to hear this. I think he's afraid to finish them. I think he is afraid to release them. I think he was scared before the two Davids delivered a final season that was deemed so unsatisfactory there was a huge mass petition to get HBO to remake the final season without them. And since then, they've seen a Star Wars trilogy and HBO projects that were greenlit get canceled. Now talk about blowback. I mean, I've never seen fan reaction cost a lot of people their jobs before. But I think he's especially scared now because he has to deliver a book that not only has to continue and wind down about 15,000 subplots and characters, many of whom have been a little aimless in the last two books, if we're being honest, but also keep people interested in a story that has already been brought to a close by the TV show and also be a dramatically better ending than the one, for the t the, the one that the TV show botched. Yikes. For a writer who has clearly been suffering from writer's block, stagnating juices, and more than a little bit of stage fright since book three, this is one mammoth order. And now we hear that he's actively developing the Targaryen Civil War-centric prequel series HBO has greenlit, and they want him to be as active as possible so as to avoid the fate of Game of Thrones season eight. He's never going to finish these damn books, people. Come on, face it. I would not want to be one of those hardcore fans still interested in how the book series turns out. And it has become abundantly clear that Martin does not want to be the author in charge of pleasing them. And I had my doubts because even when the show was, was inching closer and closer to lapping him, you got to understand for an author, this is the worst nightmare. That you've invested all this time and, and, and effort into the only thing he's ever done people really truly love. This whole universe... And this is your baby. This is your project. You don't finish that. You let somebody else take your baby and raise it. This is like placing your kid up for adoption in the writing world, even though you're a perfectly suitable parent and you know that you could raise it better and they've got alcohol problems and they probably beat the kid in the back of the road. You know, like he knew they were going to fuck it up if they outpaced him in the books and he still couldn't finish them. That wasn't enough of an incentive for him to like hurry it up and make it faster and it'd be like oh are you gonna release the book this year well i'm going to but first there's some game of thrones fan fiction that just is demanding to be written and i've got to write a sequel to a coloring book that i made in the fifth grade i mean it, it became very clear to me all the fucking around and dicking around and time wasting that he was doing it, he was afraid i mean he he didn't want to be the one to finish it and disappoint everybody and now that it's already out there and disappointed everybody, he's like, oh, fuck, that original ending, I better... Because the David said that they followed his ending in the books, what was going to be, and now he's come back and been like, no, no, I wasn't I wasn't going to... Boy, what a couple of assholes. I wasn't going to end it that way, that's for damn sure. Uh, my last two books have a unicorn in them. A unicorn? That's fucking lame. Did I say unicorn? I meant a uh, manticore. Yep, that's me. That's that's what's going to be in the the last two books. Don't even worry about it. It's going to be huge. It's going to be a great, big, beautiful wall of Game of Thrones. And it's going to be the biggest and most fantasy sequel you've ever seen because the ice wall, uh, it's going to be built even bigger and higher. And just uh, don't ever ask me another question about this again. It's going to be great. Don't worry about it.